Okay, so in the last part, we were talking about listing enhancements. I showed you guys how to update and edit a listing uh, to make suggestions to Amazon based on the suggestions that they brought up or the enhancements that were possible based on the algorithm. Um, we looked at the pickling spice and we looked at the black peppercorn. And I said, if you do make uh, enhancement suggestions and Amazon uh, doesn't make those changes or those changes don't go into effect within 15 minutes, you could always go forth and create a case, especially for a listing that's active. Those two listings weren't active, so we would not be able to create a case. But here we have this product down here. The forgive me if I pronounce it wrong. I say it's chlorella, the Sun Chlorella A tablets, 500 milligrams, 600 tablets. So Amazon is suggesting, hey, you need to click edit to add a unit count. Uh, it's saying it's missing a unit count. And remember, with the um, pickling spice, it's the same kind of uh, situation here where it says there's got the number 500 and it's got the number 600 in the title. So the algorithm doesn't know exactly which one's the count, but it knows there's numbers there. So it says, hey, most likely there's supposed to be a count, uh, but it doesn't show anywhere specifically, uh, at least in the vital information of the listing. So it's requesting that we add one. Let's say, for instance, that we did add one and that change did not happen and we wanted to create a case. Let's go create a case here, even though we haven't made the change right in edit. Uh, I'm just doing this to show you guys. Obviously, the first thing you'd want to do is make the change in edit like I showed you in the last segment and then wait those 15 minutes. But we're impatient now, so let's go contact seller support which is gonna take a lot longer to get the response we need. But hey, gotta show you anyways. So, okay, we have this, we copy the ASIN. Now we go to the top, we click the help button. And there's two ways we can contact them in regards to fixing a listing. You can come down here to need more help and click get support. Uh, because up here you have quick six ways to contact Amazon about, I guess, this is really the six most uh, popular reasons that uh, sellers contact uh, seller support. And the one that we're looking for is actually right here already. So we can just go right here. Request a product detail page change. Um, we'll go down to here. It's telling us basically, hey, you can edit it and go that way, which is the way that I showed you. But let's say we already tried that and that's not working. Now we're gonna tell us you want to fix a product page. So we're gonna tell them what we wanna fix. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna bring us to this tool right here. Hopefully it loads, there it is. We're gonna fix this product page. All right, we copied that ASIN so we could paste it right here. And there it is. And what attribute do we wanna fix? We want to fix other because we have brand, bullet points, category, images, product description, item dimensions, packaging dimensions, item weight, packaging weight, none of those. So we will put other. The vital information, the vital information is missing the count. This is a 600 count product. Please update. Okay, and it'll ask us for an authoritative website, a product image, or manufacturer catalog. So we'll just show them the product image, right? Let's do it. Right click. Well, first let's open it up. Save image as. Let's save it as this. Save. We'll come back into here. And we will now click product image. We will attach a file. There it is. There's our image. And we will send it. If this is super urgent, it was something that was impacting our sales product that's moving high volume and maybe it's incorrectly being uh, calculated or, or something that's detrimental really that's causing customers to uh, request refunds or it's just wrong information. For instance, sometimes we'll have a 
six pack listing and uh, somebody comes in and changes it to a one pack, makes that suggestion to seller support, they take on that information and now all of a sudden we're sending a six pack, the customer's expecting a one pack and we're losing money on that product or not making money because we have that other seller who made the change selling it for way less now because it's a one pack and they sent it out as a one pack so they're selling it let's say for $9.99 while our six pack is you know $30-$40 uh, because it was originally a six pack and believe it or not this does happen often and so you're going to need to contact Amazon immediately you're going to have to say this is urgent and uh, they'll respond within 24 hours to that but back to this we're just making a count change so it's not urgent everything's good um, we're gonna just put the information that we needed up here in choosing what we want to fix, which was other, that we provided the information of the other. Uh, we provided an image just by going to the listing, clicking the main image, saving it, and now we're gonna send. They'll provide you with a case number. They'll also send this information right to the email that's registered with Amazon. Um, and that's it. Any listing could become stranded and what that means is you're currently not listed on that listing even though you have inventory in stock and that's taking on monthly storage fees in their warehouse, you're losing cash flow possibilities and you need to fix this immediately.